A Bond girl must be a strong and independent woman, but at the same time charming and sensual. Those opposite qualities combined together make her interesting. She must be strong but at the same time feminine. I love boats. I can be on a boat for days. Music evokes so many feelings in us, memories, nostalgia, things that are connected to our past. I love it when a man cooks. It's one of those points that makes me adore a guy. I think it's so romantic and I feel cared for when a man cooks. A lot of movies are made to make us dream. In television, there's no time. You can't walk around and get into the mood. Nobody is going to wait for you. They're like, let's go. And I'm like, wait, I haven't gotten in the mood. Every one of us, no matter how damaged or abnormal or shut down, we're all looking for love. Every person needs love in this world, but our views on what love is vary enormously. I'm a bit of a romantic, in theory. I don't see divorce as a failure. I see it as the end to a story. In a story, everything has an end and a beginning. If a man can make me laugh and stimulate me intellectually, then I wouldn't mind if he was four featuring eight in. With a huge belly. The only thing that would put me off is bad breath. But even that can be fixed. A bad personality isn't so easy to fix. To tell you the truth, I don't really follow what men wear. Men's fashion is much simpler than women's. It doesn't change as much. I like men who paint or write or do something creative. I believe in miracles. At the age of 13, I was on holiday in Moscow with my mother. It was the only trip I took in my whole childhood. We stepped off a metro train and were approached by a talent scout who told me that she wanted to sign me to her modeling agency. Having people I love around me, friends and family, is great, but I don't necessarily need a relationship. Eventually there are going to be chips in brains. Imagine if you could just buy knowledge and download it into your head instead of having to learn it. Like in, The Matrix. Imagine all the years saved. I've seen guys sit the whole day doing nothing, and I hate it when people are unproductive. I don't like a guy who sits on the couch all day. With modeling, you provide an image that is fake. With acting you have to provide an image that's real. Why marry? If you're not married, you just leave each other and it's cool. Who needs the paper? To me it means nothing. I maybe missed money in my childhood, but I didn't miss love, that's for sure. My dad wasn't there, but I can tell you not even once did I think I was missing something. With modeling, you go somewhere for 24 hours and you don't even see the city, you don't talk to people or see the culture. I know how addictive video games are, I have friends who can't get up off the couch because they're so hooked. They provide these different virtual worlds that you can live in. No matter how much you try to pretend and force yourself and maybe fight against love and try to forget or be oblivious to it, there's no way to fight it. I think when it's there, it's there. Olga Kostyantonivna Kurilenko, born the 14th of November 1979, was born in Berdyansk, Ukrainian SSR, Soviet Union. Her father, Konstantin, is Ukrainian, and her mother, Marina Alyabusheva, who teaches art and is an exhibited artist, was born in Irkutska Oblast, 
Russia, and is of Russian and Belarusian ancestry. Her parents divorced when she was three and she was raised by her single mother. Kurilenko rarely had contact with her father, meeting him for the first time after the split when she was eight, and later when she was thirteen. Kurilenko is a Ukrainian and French actress and former model. Born and raised in Berdyansk, Kurilenko moved to Paris at the age of 16 to pursue a modeling career. After starting her acting career in 2004, she had her breakthrough film role in the action thriller Hitman. 2007. She gained recognition as Bond girl Camille Montez in the James Bond film Quantum of Solace. 2008 and as Taskmaster in the superhero film Black Widow, 2021. By the age of 18, she had appeared on the covers of Vogue and Elle magazines. She also appeared on the covers of Madame Figaro and Marie Claire magazines. She became the face of brands BB, Clarins, and Helena Rubinstein. She has also modeled for Roberto Cavalli and Kenzo and appeared in the Victoria's Secret catalog. One of her first acting appearances was in Seal's music video, Love's Divine, in 2003. But her film career truly began in France in 2004 when she shot her first feature film, The Ring Finger, for which she received the Certificate of Excellence Award at the 2006 Brooklyn International Film Festival for her performance. Kurilenko quit modeling in 2006, after over 10 years of working in the industry and moved on to acting. In 2007, she starred in Hitman alongside Timothy Oliphant. She had a minor role in Max Payne as Natasha. She was featured on the cover of the December 2008 issue of the U.S. edition of Maxim magazine and on the cover of the February 2009 issue of the Ukrainian edition of Maxim. Kurilenko appeared in Terence Malick's romantic drama film To the Wonder starring Ben Affleck and Rachel McAdams. In 2017, she appeared in Armando Iannucci's political satire film The Death of Stalin as the Soviet pianist Maria Udina. The following year she starred in Terry Gilliam's epic adventure film The Man Who Killed Don Quixote, 2018 starring Adam Driver and Jonathan Price, where it premiered at the 2018 Cannes Film Festival. In 2021, she starred in the action thriller film Sentinel. In the same year, she played Antonia Drakov, Taskmaster in the Marvel Cinematic Universe MCU, film Black Widow. In October, she was cast in comedy heist film High Heat alongside Don Johnson. She has also starred in Terence Malick's To the Wonder, 2012, Martin McDonough's dark comedy Seven Psychopaths, 2012, the science fiction film Oblivion, 2013, Armando Iannucci's political satire The Death of Stalin, 2017, Terry Gilliam's The Man Who Killed Don Quixote, 2018, the Netflix miniseries Treason, 2022, and the action film Extraction 2, 2023.